What up, Brewless? Welcome back to Brewless Kingdom. I'm Mike the Brewless, and today I'm going to be doing a short video with some of the stuff I was able to pick up at a new locals event uh, yesterday. Now, I had been, like I had said in a couple of videos, I've been searching for a, uh, a new type of store because the last one wasn't very good. I think I might have found it yesterday. However, it is like a 40 minute drive to get over there, so that's... That's kind of the only pain in the butt, but it is a OTS tournament pack store, which is awesome. They have a badass product and uh, they have singles for days. Now, um, the stuff I'm going to be showcasing you guys today is just the, uh, the stuff I was able to pick up yesterday uh, from mats to OTS pack stuff and some singles that I picked up. Um, there's the, the deck I played. I'm not going to get into that today. Um, just so you guys know, it was a Danger PK Fire build. Um, I was extremely slow at playing, and I went 1-1 one, one, and... I don't know, I guess you call it 1-1-1-1. Because one, 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 one. Um, I had to buy one round. And then I lost 1-1-1, one, 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 and that was it for the tournament. So... Um, uh, yeah, it was it was a great day. Dudes were super nice. The uh, store manager, I guess, was awesome. Um, the guys were were pretty 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 relaxed and cool, which I really appreciated because getting back into live Yu-Gi-Oh. I haven't played live Yu-Gi-Oh in shit like nine months or something like that. With moving to to where I am now and you know trying to struggling to find a shop to play at like i just haven't played live uh in so long so i was really slow first match i played uh shit all invoked i got my teeth kicked in uh game one was an otk and then game two we grinded it out and i ended up losing um second match was my buy um so i got to spend 40 minutes walking around the store checking it out scoping it up Figuring out some stuff that I thought was pretty cool. And um, third match, I played Mech Knight Invoked. All these dudes at this place play Invoked. Variant of some shape or form. Um, so I wasn't totally expecting that. But um, it, it gave me a real good chance to, to see Invoked and, and everything. First game, it lasted 30, 35 minutes. I was really slow. The guy was super nice with me. Um, and I ended up winning. Uh, he had a the BLS link on board with 44, 4500 attack, and I ended up going to uh, Xyz Utopic Future, stole it, and attacked for game. And then we tried to play a second game really quick. And I told the guy, I was like, "Hey man, look, you really helped me out. I feel really bad for winning that game. Um, if you want the win, you take it. I don't give a crap about wins and losses at a locals. So, um, and he's like, no, man, you, you got it. You earned it. I didn't think you were going to get over on the BLS link, whatever, but awesome. So he gave me the game and then we tried to do a quick, quick game too. And, um, I was able to pound for 1400, um, in turn two, um, and then before he started his his second turn, um, <coughs> they call a clock. So it was it was really ugly uh, first game because playing playing BAs and trying to keep track of all those graveyard effects. And then he called a judge over a couple of times to check some rulings and stuff like that. It was it was really it was ugly. I, I'll I'll say that it was it was it was ugly. Um, but it was awesome, you know, I, I got a chance to meet some new people, check out a new store, which I really, really like. Um, the parking situation's crap, but you know, you, you do what you can. And then, uh, yeah, it was, it was just a good day. So I'm gonna showcase you guys some of the stuff that I picked up um, that I thought was pretty cool. And, uh, if you guys are enjoying the content so far uh, on the on the on the page, make sure you subscribe, subscribe, like, comment, all that great stuff. I did put a personal challenge out there on the uh, the trade binder video that I wanted to get 100 views. We are nowhere near that yet, so make sure you go 
and watch that video. Again, comment, like, subscribe, all that great stuff. Um, without further ado, I'm going to showcase you guys what I picked up yesterday. All right, let's get into it. All right, so as you guys can see, uh, this is my deck box. Um, I did not pick this up yesterday. I just wanted to show it off because it looks really badass. Um, it's the Ultimate Guard 2020 exclusive deck box. So it's got that nice felt, magnets closed, black and red, awesome. It's kind of like a Rose Black Dragon. But anyway, yeah, get into it. This is the Yu-Gi-Oh! 20th anniversary playmat. They had one of these and I was like, I know a buddy of mine who would really like that. So I picked it up. If he wants it, hey, he can have it. Um, if he doesn't want it perfect, then it's staying with me. Um, because this this playmat is just badass. Like, you got Yugi and Dark Magician in gold. And then all throughout the playmat, you have all these different cards um, throughout the game. So, like... Right there, you got Red Eyes, you got Dark Magician Girl, you got Psalm Judgment, like Dark God Magician, Breaker, Firewall. Like this mat is just badass. Um, Jinzo, another great one. So I picked this up for a buddy of mine. If he wants it, it's his. Um, if not, then I have a sweet new play mat. Um, getting into the next one because I picked up two I don't know why but I just really liked it and then there's one more I'm gonna pick up down the road uh, this one the the chibi Yugi playmat I just thought it was really cool um, colors are vibrant the artwork is great I mean you got dark magician and Gaia and then Yugi looking all badass in his authoritiness um, I just thought it was a really cool, really cool playmat. The artwork, again, awesome. So I picked that one up. If uh, if my buddy doesn't want the gold one and he wants this one, it's his. If not, I mean, he's the big Dark Magician player, so um, anything with Dark Magician on it, he's got first dibs if he wants it. <clears throat> but I just thought they were really sweet, so uh, I picked those up. Um, some singles that I was able to pick up. Um, actually, you know what? Because this was an OTS store, uh, I did get an OTS pack for entering. So my first pack was... Alright, so we have Sea Archiver, Magician's Robe, and Servant of Endymion for the Super Rare. Um, I don't play pendulums, so this is going in a collection binder, never to be touched again, probably. Because um, I, I, I just don't like pendulums. I don't enjoy them. I don't whatever. Um, they're not my thing. And then the second OTS pack I got for topping is Kaminari Attack, Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Raven, and Tenyi Spirit Adhara. Um... Now the Carminari attack or the Kaminari attack is really cool because it can go in a Thunder Dragon build. Uh, unfortunately, I already have one in my Thunder Dragon build, the OG Kaminari attack, not the OTS pack. I feel like if they were gonna put Kaminari attack in the OTS pack, they should have at least made it a super. Um, but it's another common like the old one, so it's kind of kind of unfortunate. But you know, whatever. All right. So that was the OTS pack stuff. The singles I picked up um, and the stuff that I actually gathered this week um, the investments and, and everything like that. All right, so the singles I picked up, I picked up a starter deck Joey, Red Eyes Black Dragon because it's awesome. Um, Red Eyes is my favorite monster and I'm just slowly collecting Red Eyes Black Dragon cards. Um, yeah, I picked it up. It's late play. It's not first ed, but it's still really cool. So um, I picked up one of them. I got the Lost Dark, Dark Ruler Hades. So the other one I have, it does not have the horns. I guess Yu-Gi-Oh! made a stipulation like it looked too much like the devil. So the original 
or some old artwork on this card does not have the horns, um, but this one does. And I noticed that, so I wanted to pick it up. And then due to the fact I spent $30 in, uh, in sealed product, I got the uh, ultra rare Lost Art print of Edge and Sabres, um, which is in my uh, Danger PK fire build right now. I just pulled it out to, to show you guys. Um, yeah. That was, that was it for the singles pickups. Um, some other cord cards I uh, picked up this week via um, either TC, TCG player or trade. Um, I got Darkness Metal, the, the, dark, the Dragon of Dark Steel. So the Red Eyes Link monster. And then I also picked up three copies of Ultimate Rare Chaos Dragon Levianaires. Um, I feel like these are going to tank in price when Dual Overload uh, is released. But after a while, I feel like they are just going to skyrocket in price. So I took a gamble to make an investment, and I I really hope it pays off. Um, this is the first major investment I ever made, and I actually made three of them this week. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. Um, when the other cards come in, I'll, I can showcase you guys what I all picked up. Um, I just picked up the Ulti, the Ulti Thunder Dragon Colossus and the Ultra Rare Anniversary Pack of Red Eyes Black Dragon. So with the really cool artwork that I showcased you guys on the, uh, the playmat a few videos ago, that's the artwork that's on the Red Eyes card. Um, I picked up those cards as an investment. Um, and hopefully can flip them um, to put money towards future product uh, down the road. But uh, that's all I really got for you guys today. Uh, like I said, I had a great time at the new locals. Got some great stuff um, throughout uh, throughout the week, and then at locals obviously as well with the two play mats and the OTS packs and stuff like that. It was it was a great time. So um, if you if you guys like the con content. Um, make sure to leave a comment down below, link, like, subscribe, all that great stuff. <clears throat> Invite your friends, everything. Um, and, uh, we'll, uh, we'll catch you next time, Brewless. This is Mike the Brewless signing off. Cheers.